September 17, Thursday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke A Pharisee invited Jesus to dine with him and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that he was at table in the house of the Pharisee, bringing an alabaster flask of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping and began to bathe his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him that she is a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500 days' wages, and the other owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? Simon said in reply, The one, I suppose, whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, You have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. He said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, Who is this? who even forgives sins. But he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord She has shown great love. The Gospel contrasts the Pharisee's self-righteousness with the sinful woman's gratitude and repentant disposition. Jesus reprimands Simon for his harsh judgment over the woman who has washed Jesus' feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. The woman's actions show her gratitude for the forgiveness she has experienced and her love for and faith in Jesus. Simon has committed a great cultural error in neglecting to wash his visitor's feet for Jesus had come from a long journey. He has failed to give Jesus the customary greetings with the kiss of peace.